What's up, guys? What's going on? Um, wanted to talk about real quick about uh, Bellator 244, which happened this this Friday. Um, always refreshing to have Friday night fights to watch, and Bellator likes to put them uh, on Friday nights whenever they have them on uh, free cable, you know, on the Paramount, uh, Paramount Network. Um, it was a uh, particularly, I want to talk about uh, the main event. It was, uh, I was looking forward to it. It was uh, Bader finally um, defending his light heavyweight championship. You know, uh, I think it had been like three years since that guy got it and he hadn't defended it, which I find it ridiculous. Uh, this is one of the things that Bellator does really bad. Coker, you know, he lets title holders um, stagnant for so long. You know, they don't fight. And it, sometimes it goes over over a year, you know, two years and stuff. And for Bader, since he went after the heavyweight championship, he was neglecting, you know, um, the light heavyweight, which he won a while back. And uh, he had his hands full because he was defending against uh, Vadim Nenkov, I think is his name. He's one of those... Uh, you know, fader team fighters, young lion, 27 years old, and he finally got to earn a title shot. Um, it was a five round fight, it was a title fight, and right from the start, uh, Bader, you know, he was doing his thing, he was trying to land that powerful right of his. Uh, he has a left that he also likes to. Uh, straight left that uh, he likes to land i think that's how he knocked out um, um fader when they when they fought each other for the heavyweight championship and uh it was this time it was you know a lot more competitive of course he's facing a, a younger uh line you know a fighter that is has from what i've seen he has a complete game man he's he has the hands he has the speed he has the cardio great takedown defense and even if he you know Bader managed to take him down once and didn't do much he was right back up and did all the right things to not you know be dominated by Bader's uh, ground game his wrestling which is one of his stronger points to say the least just Bader look out class in in, in uh, he was he just looks lower uh, Vadim he was he was landing his shots he was being patient he wasn't only landing he was out boxing but he was also being very patient he was being very uh, calculating and um, you could tell it you could tell it was only a matter of time and uh, I think it was in the second round he um, he landed this head kick that just you know basically you know the the strike was you know in the back of uh, the, the kick landed in the back of uh, of Bader's head and it just it knocked him down and from then on Vadim went for the attack and looked for the finish in that Fader style man he you could tell he has that Fader training man that he probably tells him if you got him in danger you try to finish that fight at all at all costs and that's exactly what he did he started landing, he started going after Bader. He wasn't letting Bader breathe. To his credit, Bader was trying to fight him off. He was trying to get up. He was trying to block, he was trying to dodge. And I thought for sure the, the referee was gonna stop the fight. Uh, to his credit though, the ref let it go, understanding that it was a title fight, understanding that, you know, the, you know uh, Bader was not out. He was very conscious, he was, he was right there trying to trying to defend trying to get up but uh vadim did a great job of not letting him up he mounted him against that fence he kept on landing kept on landing bader the strong you know guy that he is he stood up and he was trying to get away and vadim just went after him and landed this left on him that you know knocked down bader and the ref called it and that, that was the end man uh, new light heavyweight champion I think the first Russian light heavyweight champion uh, 
for a major organization, uh, this time being Bellator. And he shows a lot of promise, man. He's young, he's 27. Uh, I'm gonna keep my eye on him. He's, you know, he's he brings fresh, fresh eyes, I think, to, to the mix. And uh, I think Fader's doing a good job with these guys, man. He's training them. He, they look very disciplined, very respectful fighters, very skilled. And Bader, uh, what's next for him? I think basically just defending that heavyweight title, which he still has to do. Uh, no knock on Bader, man. Bader has been has been doing good since he arrived to Bellator, but you know. Inactivity does that for you. I think it played a factor also that uh, he had been fighting heavyweight. He hadn't been cutting weight as much. Cutting weight takes you know, your toll, especially when you're older. And uh, I think, you know, the right guy won. I think that uh, it's going to be fun to see what, what them does in Bellator and the challengers that come and uh, challenge him for that for that belt. Just wanted to comment, it, it was a great fight. I think you guys should check it out. Uh, I'm one of those guys that don't only keep my eye on UFC. I also like to watch Bellator. I like to watch other organizations, other fighters. I'm not a UFC fan per se, I'm an MMA fan. So I keep my eye on, on, on the, other, uh, the other organizations and, and like to support them too, you know? Uh, anyways, thank you for watching and hearing me out. Uh, give me likes, dislikes, any comments, let me know, please. Thank you for listening. Peace.